Welcome to this video about how to build and deploy your API with Camel K on OpenShift. Camel K is the first serverless integration platform that allows you to connect and integrate all your microservices and application using any kind of protocol and any time, any type of the cloud. In that session, we will start by designing our API in Apicurio, and then we will try to implement it in Camel K. In order to run your Apicurio Studio, you have just to run it in your browser and you can see here I have already a defined customer API we can just edit it from here and the most important is there is three parts that you have to define the first one is the pass as you can see here I have defined the customer as path and the customer data in customer data by providing an example all the properties will be set and finally, you have to define your operation. In my example, I have defined get and post. And the most important is the operation ID. You have to fill this, this field, which is, create, which is called operation ID, uh, with create customer or get customer, as I have done here. Uh, this, this, it will be used after by camel K in order to build a rest route from that the, from the generated JSON file. Here is how uh, here is the output of the 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 JSON file with Open API specification 2.0, Swagger 2.0, and that is just an example with get customer and create customer. In Apicure, you can generate your your JSON file from here by just clicking download JSON. Now. Uh, since we have our JSON file, we will try to develop our integration route and for that we have just to start from the direct endpoint with the name of the, the operation ID here we have get customer and create customer and we have just to apply our integration patterns uh, in order to process all the requests received from the, that API. Here I have just made something really simple, which is the transform of the body received by the API. Uh, in Camel K, we support many languages, Kotlin, Groovy, Java, and here I have used just a plain XML, which is also true. In my example here, Camel K customer API, uh, we you have all the steps that you can run in order to build this API. You have just to copy that and run it on your uh, camel key. Camel, in order to start with camel, you have to download the camel client. You can see here, and you can just install the camel key operator by running this camel install, and this it will install a pod which is called camel key operator. That's, it will allow you to run your integration route. Now we are ready. We have just to clone this Git repo. And we have just to run camel, run the name. We have to provide the name of the application, customers here. Camel under two, since it used this web server under two, and the port 8080 where this API will be exposed. I, I add logs in order to get the logs directly. Our JSON file is defined here, our open API standard specification of our customer API, and here we have our integration route. As you can see here, our integration customer is created. We can check that by doing let's see get IT and we can see that our integration is created and it's running now. And as you can see here. Our integration route is already with Camel Key is already started in less than one second, and our API it's started it's exposed here uh, in order to see, for example, uh, the rest route that are generated from that JSON file. We have just to add a login level to debug. We have to set it to debug and we will get the print of the rest route that are generated from the JSON file that we have that we have defined
yeah we see now that we have yeah you can see here we have the rest routes that are printed directly in the logs and this is the definition of the the operation that we support which is guest and post that we have defined in our customer api congratulations you have your first api deployed on your OpenShift. in order uh, to visualize and to monitor your uh, camel routes in in your OpenShift uh, web console as you can see here we don't have the open java console in order to visualize and to monitor our camel routes in how to because Jolokia is not enabled, this feature is not enabled, and in order to enable it, you have just to, to add this chat, which is called, we have just to enable this Jolokia feature by adding this parameter, Jolokia, just enable it, for sure. And this, it will directly add Jolokia yeah, you can see here that it's exposed, that we have now, we expose our Jolokia agent. And if we come back now to the OpenShift console, we see that we have, that we can open our How To You console. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time.